Let's start with the latest on that apartment fire on the north side. The burning building sent smoke and flames into the sky during rush hour. The fire broke out at Broadway in Wellington in a structure that's more than 118 years old. NBC5's Natalie Martinez spoke with one family that escaped the flames. It happened in Lakeview East Tuesday night as Angela Woodall and her two young kids were playing with magnet tiles. No cares in the world until just after 5 p.m. I heard an explosion and I looked out the window and saw flames, so just grabbed Louie and Nellie and ran out the door. We got a uh, three-story ordinary residential. A parent's nightmare pulling their child from a building in flames caught on cell phone video from neighbors. This fire would end with no injuries. Neighbors and residents making sure to pull out cats and dogs from every unit with pets. They did amazing, didn't you? You ran did with you mom. Listen? You listened you did? to mommy? Keisha Jones was right next door taking videos of the fire herself. I kept hearing the sirens um, and so then I was like what is going on and then kind of semi smell smoke. So I came out of my um, apartment, I checked the Citizen app and saw that there was a fire nearby. I saw the flames um, uh, in the building and large billows of dark smoke in the clouds. So of course I just decided to stay outside just in case the smoke moved or the fire moved. My first thought was that the people in the building were safe. Tonight, Chicago Fire tells us it started on the back porches of the building. Enough damage to displace Angela's little family and ask. Where we're going to sleep tonight with the kids and stuff and just you know, I don't know, it's a mom, you know, it's... <laughs> Tonight, Chicago fire officials are still determining a cause for this blaze. In Lakeview East, Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News.